We have some interesting and crazy Tesla news to talk about. From the Bitcoin Tesla, to hints of Model S and X refresh deliveries happening very soon, to Elon Musk discussing the potential rocket-like capabilities of the new Tesla Roadster, such as hovering and traveling in midair. Yes, it's as crazy as it sounds. First up today, we have news on the delivery timeline of the Model S and X refresh. A refreshed Model S was spotted near the Tesla factory in Fremont, and Twitter user at CodingMark got some videos of the car with his Tesla dash cam. From the looks of the video, the Model S looked like its bumper was debadged and its windows heavily tinted, probably to keep the new refreshed interior hidden from public view. But it was indeed a refreshed Model S, as it had the updated fog light design that closely resembles the Model 3 and Model Y. Seeing this car out in the wild is proof that deliveries are slated to begin very soon, which aligns with what Elon said on the Q4 2020 earnings call held on January 27th. Elon specifically said on the earnings call that the refreshed Model S would be delivered in February, with the Model X coming a little later. But one buyer of the Model X refresh recently got notified by Tesla that they should prepare for delivery. The buyer, named Joe, has shared a screenshot from his Tesla account showing that he has an estimated delivery date of February 15th through March 15th. We have not seen any word of a delivery time frame being given to those who ordered a Model S refresh, however, which goes against what Elon said on the earnings call about the refreshed S being delivered before the X. With all the hype around these refreshed vehicles, I find it hard to believe that those who have pre-ordered the Model S refresh wouldn't also be telling the internet in some way if they got notified that their car is scheduled to be delivered soon. I'm super pumped to see these cars in action and get a glimpse of the new interior once deliveries do begin. So we will just have to wait and see how this plays out. Mixed in with all the Tesla hype this week has been Tesla's decision to purchase $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and hold it as an alternative to its cash reserves. They also announced that they plan to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment sometime in the future. Well, it turns out that someone has already bought a Tesla with Bitcoin and that this happened all the way back in 2013. According to Yahoo, a Lamborghini dealership in Newport Beach sold a Tesla Model S performance for 91.4 bitcoins, with each bitcoin at the time being worth $1,126. Well, as of me recording this video, that same 91.4 bitcoins would be worth around $4.3 million today. Now obviously hindsight is 2020, but I'm imagining the buyer of this Model S is feeling some buyer's remorse here. This story reminds me of the infamous Bitcoin pizza that was purchased in May of 2010. Two pizzas were purchased for 10,000 Bitcoins, and this was the first known purchase of anything using Bitcoin. At the time, one Bitcoin was only worth less than one cent. But with today's Bitcoin valuation, those pizzas have grown in value to be worth over $473 million. Now, I don't know about you, but I think this guy is probably a little more bummed out than the Bitcoin Tesla purchaser. Moving on today, we have a quick update on the Apple car. In my last video, which you can watch by clicking up here, I talked about how Hyundai Kia was close to making a deal with Apple to produce the Apple car in the Kia factory in Georgia. Well, it sounds like this deal was not secured, as Hyundai Kia has publicly declared that they are no longer in negotiations with Apple, according to Apple Insider. Apple Insider also reports that despite this news, Quote, multiple analysts now claim that an announcement from Apple concerning their electric vehicle partnership is imminent, saying specifically that Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives says Apple entering the electric vehicle market is a matter of, quote, when, not if. So although talks with Hyundai Kia have reportedly stopped, that doesn't mean Apple is no longer moving forward with the Apple car, or that negotiations with Hyundai Kia won't start back up again at some point. Apple Insider says that sources point to Volkswagen or Hyundai as the top two choices for Apple to choose as a manufacturing partner. Finally today, we have some crazy things to talk about regarding the new Tesla Roadster, as well as some other items that Elon discussed in the last few days. Elon made his third appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, which is arguably the most popular podcast in the world. Joe, who is a Tesla fan and owns a Model S Performance, was able to get some new information out of Elon in regards to Tesla's upcoming Model S Plaid, Cybertruck, and Roadster. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, I would appreciate it if you could give it a like and hit that subscribe button. Elon said that the Model S Plaid has officially undergone 0 to 60 testing according to the Motor Trend specification, and it was able to achieve a 1.96 second mark. That is insanely fast, and Joe was quick to point that out, saying that when driving his car, which has a 0 to 60 of 2.4 seconds, he has never once wished that it could go any faster than that. 
Elon helped put the 1.96 second time into perspective by saying that, quote, it can hit 60 miles per hour before it clears the intersection. 1.96 seconds is just crazy. I have driven a Model 3 dual motor non-performance before, which had a 0 to 60 of 4.4 seconds, and that felt pretty dang fast. I've ridden the Top Thrill Dragster roller coaster at Cedar Point Amusement Park in Ohio, and that thing officially accelerates from 0 to 120 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. Although no official 0 to 60 number is reported by Cedar Point for this roller coaster, fans have calculated with the use of video and frame by frame analysis that the 0 to 60 time of the Top Thrill Dragster is 1.2 seconds. Now, as Elon pointed out to Joe Rogan, every millisecond really makes a difference when you are traveling that fast. So obviously 1.96 seconds is quite a bit different than 1.2 seconds. But still, it's crazy that a production vehicle and one of the fastest roller coasters in the world can even be in the same conversation about acceleration. Joe and Elon moved on to talk about the Cybertruck briefly, discussing how its design has essentially not changed since it was revealed, but that it has indeed shrunk by about 3% in all dimensions. This comes after Elon had originally said this when he and the Cybertruck were on the TV show Jay Leno's Garage in May of 2020, and then walked back that comment on Twitter afterward, saying that even 3% smaller is too small. Well, it looks like he and Franz have changed their minds again, with Elon telling Joe Rogan that one of the reasons behind this reduction in size is that it needs to comfortably fit inside the boring company's tunnels, and that the fit was too tight when Elon and Jay Leno drove it through the tunnel. Now the craziest thing Elon and Joe talked about was the new Roadster. Elon specifically said that in addition to a cold gas thruster behind the license plate, shown theoretically here in this fan-made video, he wants the new Roadster, when equipped with the SpaceX option package, to be able to hover above the ground and travel in midair, saying, quote, I want it to hover. I'm trying to figure out how to make this thing hover without, you know, killing people. I thought maybe we could make it hover, but not too high. So maybe it could hover like a meter above the ground or something. So if you plummet, you blow out the suspension, but you're not going to die. Maybe, I don't know, six feet. If we put a height limit on it, it will probably be fine. Now, obviously this is just a want of Elon's right now, but he talks about it so specifically that he clearly has put a lot of thought into this concept and that there has probably been talks at Tesla about the possibility of making this a reality on the new Roadster. Personally, I think this seems a little too crazy to become a reality. Having a cold gas thruster behind the license plate is enough to differentiate the Roadster from the Plaid Model S in my opinion, beyond the obvious difference that one is designed to be a convertible sports car and the other a four-door passenger sedan. I think Tesla's fight with regulators and lawmakers on the subject of autonomous driving is a tough enough legal situation for Tesla to navigate at this point in time, and adding a flying car into the mix is probably not in Tesla's best interest. Do you think there is even a small possibility that a flying Tesla Roadster is in our future? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And that wraps up the video for today. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I hope to see you in the next video.